So you telling me we can play this right? Ha! Huh. The difference is though, it's third and sixteen. It's a little easier to play knowing that they have to pass. But I want to show you this is how it's supposed to be done. All right? We had the same down play ran on us earlier for a big play. For a huge play. One of them was a touchdown. The first touchdown. So, if you remember earlier I showed, love it. With poor eye discipline. He comes up, vacates his zone, and they take advantage. Now, this is what I mean by good eye discipline. So, when you do something wrong, I'm going to highlight it. When you do something right, I'm going to highlight it too. Good eyes, right? Eyes on quarterback. Now, there's no action. There's no action in front of them. So, you got to find action within your zone. So, if there's no one coming and there's one guy out here and he's not coming, well, what I'm going to do? I'm going to try to find some action over here. So, he looks. Look at quarterback. Get a peep. All right? Oh, you get a peep. Now, the bad part about it, the negative about it, is he turns his head. You shouldn't turn your head. But, it's okay when you get under the route. Now, the only bad thing about turning your head is, if it's a better throw, he can moss you and catch the ball. But with him being under him, the quarterback's got to find a way to luckily just throw it and drop it. This is not cartoon. You can't just throw a ball in and drop it out of space. And that gives this boy, Harrison, a chance to get a pick. That's all because of Lovett. If Lovett doesn't do his job, that pick is not possible. He made the quarterback elevate the ball, giving his teammate, his brother, a chance to make a play. Why can't we do this consistently all the time?